here, but we would like to know, to let you know that we appreciate you very much. We would like to take a few minutes to formally welcome Tasha into our family. Though, we should mention that she has always been a great part of the family, but now it's official. Tasha, I want you to know that we look forward to building on the relationship we already have, as we feel it is precious and should not be taken for granted. As a mother-in-law, I can only hope that you will grow to love me almost as much as you love your mother, because I know that I already love you as a daughter. The first time I met you was on my front porch. Scott introduced me, introduced you as a friend from his work Canadian time. The first words that came out of my mouth were, Wow, you have the most beautiful blue eyes. I didn't even say hello. I was mesmerized and wondering if you were going to be Scott's girlfriend. As a mother, my mind automatically took me forward to marriage and children and what my grandchildren would look like. They may end up with these beautiful eyes, is what I was thinking. <laughs> Before I end my speech about Kasha, I would like to share a story. Last year, Kasha, Scott and I were at the beach getting some sun. When Kasha and I decided to go on a floaty boat, while talking and laughing, we did not notice that we were being pushed further out. In a matter of minutes, we were so far that we could not see Scott. Do you remember, Kasha, how I panicked and began to scream? <laughs> I began waving my arms at the sailboats. And they assumed that I was saying hi, and we were waiting <laughs> hi back. <laughs> and then I was screaming, help, help. They understood that I was saying hello. It was a scary but funny situation. To make a long story short, we were eventually rescued, rescued by our good-looking Baywatch. <laughs> when we arrived, Safely back on the beach, we found Scott fast asleep. Kasha, you remained so calm out there, I think. You were just as scared as I, but you did not show it. It was good to see how cool you could be in a crazy situation. Going forward in your marriage, you will have many scary situations. What I wish for you is that you continue to keep a level head and work calmly through it all. Now, Scott, my wonderful son. It seems like it was yesterday when we brought you home. Where has the time gone? You have brought us so much joy, laughter, and even drove us crazy. You were the, the determined child who always got what he set out to get. This day is a testimony to your determination. You have found a woman that will make you happy. Although your personality is your own, I would like to think that we helped you instill family values that you will be able to take with you on this journey. The advice that your father and I would like to give you is that marriage is a two-way street. There is nothing that can't be resolved. If you are both willing to listen to each other and talk it over, just remember this phrase, I was wrong, and you were right, and I love you. Oh, it's fun. Sons. Sons are the anchors of a mother's life. 
No one else will ever know the strength of my love for you. After all, you and Mark are the only ones who know what my heart sounds like from the inside. We love you, Scott, and remember that the door is always open for you. We promise never to change the locks. <laughs> Let's do a toast to the newlyweds. Everyone raise their glass. To Scott and Asha, may God's blessing be with you tonight and always. May you always remember the special day and the love you have for each other tonight. We love you all. Cheers. Cheers! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it was the groom's moment.